So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. You can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ready to make a statement. And now our fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He is the third man in the octagon tonight. All right, the wait is over. We are underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Oh, he lands a kick to the leg. Well, missed on that one. Oh, nice inside kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Kick's there, the kick's there. Nice kick there by Lee. Left hook to the head. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Hands high, hands high. Fast jab lands there. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Everything's landing perfect. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Punishing kick there. Oh, well timed with that team. Way to be first. Superman punch lands. 
Oh, roundhouse kick. Yet another huge kick lands. Oh, nice switch kick. Lands a good series of kicks here. Misses again with a right punch. Just over two minutes to go. Let those hands go. Beautiful kick to the body. Clean punch. Oh, nice inside leg kick, yeah. Oh, shades of Leon Edwards. Headshot, bang. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Nice knee to the body by Lee. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. to block that punch. Oh, they kick lands now. Yep. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Useful strike there. The hook is clean. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Good shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, is he opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. Oh, he is hurting for something. Posture's got to have the vicious head strike. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do All right, round two. Nice jab. Oh, that's one way to upset the equilibrium. Nice high kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. They're so evenly matched. They're going to attack. This pace is just absurd, and he has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater, punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list his performance, just digs into the body. He dug that shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Great block there. Looking for that left hand, not there. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Establishing the jab here.
pretty significant welt to the left side. Great job getting that kick home. Nice body kick. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taken to this cut. Easier said than done, though. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Let me see that hook. Yeah. Well, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Just out of range with that left hook. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? 90 seconds now in round two. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Misses with the left hook. Work that cut. Work that cut. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Shove, shove. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Beautiful kick there. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt. That's more than I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Back to the feet. Ooh. 20 seconds left to go in round two. That's big. Oh, my goodness. Stop. Ten minutes stop, in the can. Stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round, and how about the swelling at this point on the fighter's forehead? That is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. It is only getting worse given all the offense that's coming back. We'll see if they can get the end swell on there and try to keep this fighter in the fight. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Let us look back at some of the damaging strikes in that previous round. It doesn't seem like it's going to do much. And if it does, he can't take any more of these shots. He was too stationary. He took everything square on the target. He's got to move his head, and he's got to be proactive instead of reactive in terms of the defense. Third round underway. Way to hide that leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Nice inside leg kick there. Body shot. Solid punch there. Lands to the body. Checks that leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Back to the left hand now. Unable to connect. 
All right, another strike to the body, continuing to invest there, and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you could tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. There's that jab. Beautiful body kick. Well, that body. Oh, oh it's not bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Now he's back up. Oh. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read. Oh, with authority, the body. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. right hook attempt, but it's no good. Just over two minutes to go. Nice defense there. Huge block. Out of range with that one. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this oh, that shows the power. And the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Big head kick. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. Well, big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored. He's hurt bad. Under a minute now to go. Making all these shots count. Oh man, that cut is nasty. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Lee. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Lee's right back to the full mount. In the half guard. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be dropped, but they're absolutely loving it. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't... Oh, a perfect body shot there. It's hurt. I mean, that's unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Missed with that attempt. Lands the sidekick now. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, 
push kick there to the body. Out of range with that kick attempt. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Big roundhouse now just misses. Lee gets hit with a kick. Head kick, that's a miss. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> but I didn't know nothing but button mashing. You two guys have button mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents are walking the room and watch you guys be that fatigued. This is embarrassing. Learn to play the game. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. with the big right hand. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Going orthodox now. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Bruce Buffer now has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all styles. Bruce Lee, with authority, is your winner here tonight.